Welcome back, everybody. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. For Bars and Barbells as a team, and we got Super Tramp today. This has been requested a few times in those comments. And also, this is near and dear to our hearts because Samantha has had a personal request. Yeah, my mom wanted to see some Super Tramp on the channel, so here we are. She saw them live, and she was like, I need to reminisce. But funnily enough, I had picked this out to do in advance before I knew that Sam's mom had mentioned Super Tramp. Mm -hmm. So we're just on the same wavelength, same wavelength you know. <laughs> and uh, so you excited to check out something that your mom has, has experienced? Yeah, it should be interesting. I don't know anything about Super Tramp. Me either. Um, I've heard the name before. I think it kind of just stuck out to me because the name is Super Tramp. Like, I don't know, I think of a tramp and, you know, Super Tramp. It's like extra tramp. <laughs> So that's why I guess as a, as a youth, it just kind of stuck out in my head. Yeah. But um, they're a rock band that uh, came out in the 1970s, I think. Mm -hmm. They have quite a few studio albums. And I think Breakfast in America is the one that really started to blow up for them. Mm -hmm. I cool. think this might be from that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure because it doesn't say that on the cover here. Yeah. But uh, I think that's when they really started to you know, blow up and uh, they did really well in Canada. We were reading. Probably why my mom loved them. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> they had two Diamond albums, Damn. I think, in Canada, which is like, I don't know, X times platinum sales. Anyways. Crazy. I'm excited to check them out because yes. I've never, never heard anything by them before, at least as far as I yeah, know. Yeah, same. And uh, so let's get into Goodbye Stranger. Let's do it. so far i feel like this is very different than what i was expecting in what way i don't know it's just a lot kind of like lighter i would say and i also feel like the instrumentation sound is more unique like i don't know what specifically it is but i feel like it's very it could be the electronic piano yeah maybe, maybe which i feel like brings a different sound and a different vibe to the song mm -hmm. Um, and even the vocals, I feel like, are a little bit like lighter. And I don't that, know. Yeah, it's interesting the blend between, you know, you have that falsetto portion mm -hmm. on the hook and then his lead vocal, and they play off of each other really yeah. well. That, the falsetto portion, the like harmonizing almost sounds a little bit like the Bee Gees to mm -hmm. me and some of the songs that it we've does done a with bit, them. Yeah. Um, 
but you had said that it kind of wasn't what you had expected and the sound. So did you have a preconceived notion of what Super Champ, Super Champ, Super Tramp was going to be before Oops. we got into it? Did you have like a thought like in your head of already made up of what you expected from Super yeah, Tramp? Yeah, I think like, you know, when I, anytime somebody says like a rock band, they think for more of like right. a rocky sound. So right? it's and less think, rocky than you anticipated. Exactly, yes. Okay. I would say yeah. that. Yeah. Um, more rock pop? Yeah. Then? Yeah. It's definitely got a pop vibe for sure. Um, At least this song. Yeah. This, this one for sure. And, and, the lyrics are pretty funny too. Yeah. You know, like goodbye stranger. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye Mary. Goodbye Jane. Yeah. Um, sounding like almost like a one night stand yeah. aspect. Um, on so on my way off to be free. <laughs> yeah. That's like the vibe I get is like no cares, you know, yeah. you know, not a care in a world in the world. Freedom, you know, yeah. just feel good vibe. Living my life. And I think they capture that with the music. I would agree. You know, yeah. of this like kind of fade away goodbye aspect. Yeah. I don't know where we're going to go with it, but that's the vibe <laughs> I've got so far. Um, you know, like I said, it's really, really uh, cool how they put it all together. I really like as well the way a lot of the lyrics come in with this like downbeat when the beat drops and then mm -hmm. his lyrics hit at the same time. Yeah. And that was like the introduction to the whole, um, you know, uh, elevation of the, the music that we yeah. were hearing. It was the same thing. It was like, boom, with his vocal and the same yeah. time as the instrumentation and really kind of adds that depth to it. Yeah. So I'm enjoying it though. It's a cool, it's a different vibe. Like you said, I think a little bit different than I was expecting when we had heard Super Tramp and, and what the, you know, what we might have been expecting going into it mm -hmm. was not this. No, but, but it's cool. I think it's, you know, I, maybe they're blending some, some of the progressive rock with the pop sound. Yeah. Now some they do and some they don't. And some you just can't tell. Some they will and some they won't But some it's just as well You can laugh at my behavior And that'll never bother me Say the devil is my savior But I don't pay no heed And I will go out shining It's shining like brand new I'll never look behind me My troubles will be few Not a care in the world the song there or what? I know, that was like a 
complete detour. It was such a sharp change and shift from what we were listening yeah. to. Like I say, I didn't want to add some solo in there at the <laughs> end and uh, maybe a little dance out vibe yeah. for it. That's cool. I also like stuck out to me because you had said at the pause about kind of the no cares in the world, mm -hmm. like, you know, vibe. But then they brought in that whistling, which I feel like also mm. has kind of that vibe. Like when somebody's whistling, they're just like, la, 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 you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And he, there was a couple of mentions as well, like um, the devotion aspect. So I think he was saying like if, as a part of this almost because there was a couple of lyrics in there where he wasn't going to be a devout Christian kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, he was just going to go out because obviously, especially at this time, having a one night stand was probably looked upon as more with more scrutiny. Yeah. And so um, that would be, you know, construed as well with that, you know, the traditional family aspect of you're only with one person. And, yeah. and so him like saying that I'm not going to go down that route. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to I'm just going to have no care in the world I'm going to live free be with whatever stranger I want to and move on and say goodbye the next day I think you know that's you know, capturing some of the essence of the song as yeah, well yeah he also made a, a comment in there at some, or a line at some point about like people basically saying about the, him worshipping the devil or whatever by yeah that's that. what I mean so, right yeah, so yeah. because he's living this lifestyle yeah, that insane. he's a, you know a a bad guy type yeah. thing, um, which nowadays would not be relevant at Seems all. Seems to be the norm these days. <laughs> that's what everybody does. Yeah. And I don't necessarily, you know, think that's great, but I'm just saying at the time, I think he was probably going to be under way more scrutiny than what he would have been looked at today. You know, now we have, um, uh, what was it? Bongos by uh, Cardi B that was just released. <laughs> um, yeah. So the standards were a little bit higher. And so I think he was talking about that, about that a little bit. But I found as we went on in, in his vocal as well, like uh, towards the back end, um, you know, shortly after we pause that alongside his increasing vocals and the ranges that he was providing with them. Um, the instrumentation seemed to increase in volume as well. Yeah, like everything, build a little bit. yeah, everything. The depth started to grow and grow and grow alongside with that. So I thought that was really cool mm -hmm. as they built up the entirety of this song, yeah, um, and built the energy with it. And then they kind of finished it off with that, uh, you know, like like I said, the outro section. So um, it was cool. It was very creative and a very different sound and not what I was expecting, but I yeah. enjoyed it. And you know, the vocal capability on this was very top tier. Yeah, and I think it's also kind of cool because I think, like we had said before, I was expecting more of like a rocky sound, but then I feel like you kind of hit the nail on the head when you said it was a little bit more of like the electronic sound that mm -hmm. was brought into it between, I think, like the electronic keyboard and the guitar and stuff like that. So at this time period, like I feel like this probably would have been a little bit different than some of the other stuff as well. Yeah, I think that was probably the introduction to some of those sounds. Yeah, and neat. it was probably, you know, if this was something that they would have done you know consistently and we'll i guess we'll find out you guys can yes, let us know if this is you know relevant for their sound or if this is completely different you can hit us with those suggestions in the comments we always appreciate those and then we can check out a little bit more maybe and yes. see if this is you know a particular sound that they went with or not but if you enjoyed it just remember to hit that like button for us really does help and uh, leave us a comment tell us about super tramp and where they got that name from yeah. i would like to know um and uh if you have a recommendation we would, would appreciate that as well if you want to subscribe hit the notification bell and come back to tomorrow because we'll have more content might not be the the super tramp vibe but we've always got music sports and comedy on the go so i'm sure you'll be entertained nonetheless yeah and just to make a comment on that point you want to know where the name came from maybe it came from them being such a fan of one night stands <laughs> that is a valid point <laughs> all right guys that's it from us today we'll be back with another one see you guys in the next one